Alright, now that we've loaded up our steering gear, we're going to demonstrate how to lock the door and prepare for sterilization. What you want to do is make sure the door is shut. Take the cam lock, put it over the hook. You see the adjustability here. You want to lift it up so that it fits there and make sure you shut it the whole way. Now we're going to do the top the same way. Adjust that to fit it over and using the cam lock, keep it shut. Once we do that, we're going to put our integrity locks on it. What you want to do is come up from the bottom, go through the top, with the blue dot out so that you can see it. Now note that it's got to be around this handle so that it can't open. If you were to put it behind this handle, you're going to be able to open that up, which could compromise the load. We don't want that. So make sure you come up from the bottom, the blue dot out, around the handle, and put that integrity lock in place so that we know it's not tampered with. We're going to do the same with the bottom. Come up from the bottom, blue dot out, around the handle, and let's get that locked in place so that we know that it hasn't been tampered with. All right, the next thing we want to do is take your account sheet, your load sheet, and put it on the handle. Before this goes into sterilize. You have that there. Next thing we want to do is take your card and fill it out. I'll put the date, the doctor, the sterilizer number, load number, exposure time, the temperature, and the operator. I'm gonna have an integrator here. You take a load sticker. Just like we have here. And tape that down so it doesn't fall off during the sterilization process. Take your card, and you know, place for it right here. So now we have this here. We have your sheet. Our doors are locked. The uh, integrity locks are on it, so we know it's ready for sterilization. First thing we want to do is come around to the forks and lift those into place. You can see they're locked down at the moment. Put these tabs up to unlock the forks. Pull them towards you. Lift them up push them back so that this is seated right here. That way it's locked into place. Turn the tabs towards you. So now, this forks are locked. Come around to the other side. You're going to take the handbrake or the brake off. Look up, only halfway, so you have that 360 functionality so you push it in. Now line it up. Make sure those forks engage in the slot so that the rails are lined up and this is ready to go in the stairs. We're going to lock that down so that it's locked into place and won't move as we transfer it over. So you have the drawer there for your So regardless of the pipe you use, you can put it right in here before it goes into the load. So once you have your test pack in place, we're ready to load it into the sterilizer. We're locked in place so the cart won't move. We take the squeeze handle, squeeze this button, push it down. That unlocks the, the cube so that you can glide right into the sterilizer. Okay, you want to make sure you position your test pad over the drain. Release the brake. We pull the release for the fork to come up and remove the cart. Come over. Shut the on plate into the door and lock it. Then you begin your cycle to sterilize for the contents item. So now sterilization is complete. It's time to remove the cube. We're going to open the auto clip. One great thing is there's no crack time. Open the door right up and it's ready to be pulled out. We're going to go over, get our cart, take the brake off. We're going to put it in 360 mode so that you can wheel it right on up. And line up the forks to make sure that they lock in place and that the rails match up. Once that happens, lock the cart down. And the most important thing, you need to make sure it's stable when we're pulling this out. We're going to grab our heat plug. Make sure with our left hand and stabilize the cart here. Good for ergonomics, it also adds a little bit of stability. Pull it out. You want to make sure both automatic locks engage. You should hear it click into place. There you go. So now it's on there, it's clicked into place. We can uh, we uh, actually disengage the forks, unlock the cart, and 
and we pull our stair key away. So then once we do go away from the, the auto plate, we're going to make sure we drop the forks down so that they're not sticking out. Take the tabs, put these back to unlock it, lift up, pull towards yourself, let them go down, and then just flip those tabs back down, lock the forks in place, your stair key's ready to go. After sterilization, we do want to check our indicators to ensure it pro or process properly. You can see on our integrity lock, the color's changed here. We're going to look at that on the doors. Look at the retaining plate to make sure the integrity locks have changed there. You also want to see blue from the filter the whole way around, the circumference of that retaining plate. The integrity lock has changed. We also want to check out the data card in the upper right. Look at the integrator, make sure that it's changed the whole way into the safe zone to indicate that it was processed properly.